Hey guys, Squirrel Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Loki. Last time on Loki, we met a new Kang variant. Mm-hmm. Uh, Victor Timely. Do you think that he named himself Timely? Or he just happened to be named Timely? Because he, he deals with time. Uh, he happened to be named Do you think he changed his name or anything? No, that's ridiculous. He is a... Uh, you can't just change your name. You can. He's a, he's a charlatan. He's a charlatan. I, I would say that for his persona, he he probably changed his last name. His first name was probably always Victor. Probably changed his last name to fit like the, the theme of he's what the he's Victor doing. He's the Victor of time. He might be. Uh, the subject of our poll last week is, will Victor Timely become he who remains, who is at the end of time? So you could say he could be the Victor of time if he's the only sure. one left. Like, will end. this one be the one that we killed? Yes, uh, we had 30% of people say Victor will eventually become he who remains. But 70% said they are two mm. separate variants. Uh, I'm going to quickly look at some of the comments here. I don't want to get, I don't know if there's any, you never know with Marvel sometimes and they put out like trailers or information. I don't want to get spoiled. Oh, yeah. We'll see. Hmm. Uh, I agree with the theory that it's a closed loop with a new he who remains with different variants. That's kind of interesting. Closed loop. Interesting. Uh, Victor has the capacity for villainy, but I feel like he's too pure-hearted <clears throat> to do what is required of he who remains. They are different, but they're heading down the same path. I will say this Victor has had no problem scamming people. That's true. Well, I think he's had non-stop trouble, but his he seems to be getting away with stop it. Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something, something, individuality of the soul. What? Something, the something, ball of non-contradiction and identity. Something dark side. Something, something, something. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, he will become the man at the end of time, but a different version of him. The same, but different. That's, that's a lot of the comments. That doesn't kind of make sense. Honestly, a lot of the comments are the same, but different. That, what? So it does make sense if you look at the evidence here. You mean they're different? The claims, I should say. They're different claims. But the well, same. By different people. With the same destination. Same destination. De the but same it's path. a fundamental misunderstanding of the question, too. Two lanes, one destination. Because they're saying, like, oh, yeah, it's different. He changed. Yeah. But it's still him. Should have picked the 30% option. Interesting. What? You know, we're all different people at different points in our life. Like, you weren't the same you were as you were, like, seven years ago. <clears throat> Not the same I was 30 seconds ago. Now I'm angry. He wasn't always alone. There's something you have to see. Yes, show us. What is this? Just watch. Just to watch, says the clock. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. So it's almost ready. Ravonna Rinslayer. You are quite a marvel. Aha, uh -huh. he said the thing. You made a difference in yeah. this war. Thank you for being on my team. So she was in the multiversal war? The TVA awaits our commands. We know they work together. Shall we go? We know that from the past. I'll catch up. <clears throat> yeah, but I didn't know it was specifically in the war. Erase all of their memory. If you say so. Protocol 42. Damn. That's the answer. <clears throat> Sorry. Hmm. I helped win. You didn't just help. It was you who commanded the army. The army. The TVA army, right? Out his nose. <laughs> cool. Oh, I can't wait for this. I want him to meet Ouroboros. They'll be best friends. The TVA. <laughs> Will they? Yeah, he's the only one that's actually read the book. No, the other guy read the book. No. Yeah, what's his name? Casey. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Come with us. And we'll show you. That didn't sound as reassuring as you hoped it would. Listen, Professor, I can only imagine what Renslayer and Miss Minutes have been saying about us, but it's not true. Unless I said something good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a party. Hello. The more the merrier. And you all want me. Ms. Ravona wants me, the effervescent clock lady monster thing wants me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I say chop. That's right. Yeah, that <laughs> well, I built steam swirl really got me. Or I did. Well, or I will. Victor, this is Casey and OB. OB? Ouroboros. <laughs> well, yes, I did. But I learned everything I know from a brilliant 19th century inventor named Victor Timely. If we had the resources, it would have been bigger than Einstein. It's a friend. Wait, so he learned from him, but he learned from him. Yeah. Victor? So if your work is based on his work and his work is based on your work, exactly then... which came first? It's like a snake oh, eating its own tail. Mr. Ouroboros, would you inscribe my, my handbook? Only if you would you? <laughs> yeah, I, was, uh, <laughs> I love it. Here's a model I mocked up of the loop. Forgive the shoddy and slap dance work. Uh, it looks amazing. This is incredible. Yeah. I haven't been able to cough out figures to represent Aww. all of us. The loom. I'm honestly embarrassed that Victor is here to see it. Okay, I think you're being a little hard on yourself. Not to scale. It will dock with the loom, where it will scale the loom's capacity to manage the backlog of branches that was created when someone killed people who remain <laughs> and released all those branches and ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> much more temporal radiation out here than there was when you went out there, Mobius. Yeah, so much more. More. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. His skin. Loki will do it. Well, I mean, Loki's really going to have to hoof it then, right? <laughs> Wait a second, why is it why is it something to me having to have it? Well, because it's your turn. Yeah. He did it to save you. You are also but just because it isn't you, uh, it isn't necessarily uh, me, honestly. Listen, guys, it's your shit too. What do you mean? It's my shit. Your shit. It's he really doesn't want to lose his skin. Mr. Ouroboros, if anyone can, it's you and me. I love this bromance. Me too. Right, come on. Let's give him some space to work. I'm still worried Victor's gonna be bad. I say like don't meet your heroes, but they are <gasps> each, each other's hero. I know. <laughs> Tell Pi. Pi. Yeah. What is the matter with you? You dragged me back here begging for help, so you must have some idea of what's happening. Everything is turning to shit. And you want to leave it to them while we go and have some pie. Great idea, maybe. So you wait. No, I won't wait. Come on, let's go and get some pie. You found out you're a variant, and you haven't even looked, have you? It's just another bad day at the office for you. Timelines are just lines on a monitor. Who cares if a few just disappear? What do, you, what do you want to do? What's the alternative? What are what can they do that would speed it up? She's angry. I understand. Yeah. Well, is, she's been she kind of one note. Wouldn't be angry if she ate some damn pie. <laughs> Key lime. It helps. <laughs> what if you are wrong to believe that this place can be any better? What if I was wrong to spare him? It's oh, better now. Burn this place down and start from scratch. Sure. Burn it down. Easy. Annihilating is easy. Raising things to the ground is easy. Trying to fix what's broken is hard. Hope. Man, hard. Loki's been on a hell of an arc. Mm hmm. It's up to us to do better than he who remains. Sounds like whatever we do, we're playing God. <clears throat> yep. You are kind of gods, though. We are gods. We are gods. The god of mischief. I don't need to agree with her to know that. Yeah, well, I don't trust B-15, so I... So you can stay in prison. Uh... No, is it Renslayer? No. How did they get here? Renslayer. Anyone who joins me right here will have a life on the timeline if they want it. I'll do that. Oh, yeah. Yep. I thought you could see the bigger picture. 
Okay, oh, minutes. Uh, look at those angry eyes. That's the torture machine. You yep. Just squish them all. For the first time, I finally am seeing the bigger picture. Dude, I'd rush her right now. Oh. Okay. How does it feel? Knowing that all of us here would rather die than follow you out that door. Hmm? This minutes is so gleeful. Oh my god, dude, do something! Ah, fuck Brad. I don't care about Brad anymore. Is it dripping? Let's go, X5. Yep. That was some audible gore. Oh, yes. And they're being a jam. Uh, uh, uh. Access denied. Uh, uh, uh. Didn't say the magic word. Uh, uh, uh. Damn it. Find that ring. Check the vending machines. Spill on his face and run. I think he needs to make sure it's okay to drink first, right? <laughs> Did... oh. Chocolate. <laughs> Sharing some cocoa. Where's the device? Son of a bitch, Brad. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Try to slow us down. Take the stairs. Shining door. Hey, that sounds like a noise you want to hear from farther away. <laughs> We're running out of time. Come on. All personnel, report to your nearest time door evacuation point. TVA code. That's so many. That's Sylvie. The, Sylvie has. That's the phone call, isn't it? No. <laughs> Print himself. He has a printer. Yeah. She's in the elevator. He's like, oh, it's you. Mm -hmm. There he is. Mm -hmm. Weirdly enough, he has a lot of experience of seeing himself because he makes copies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So cool. What? <laughs> <laughs> I promise you this will make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on the telly? All of the lines are lit up. Pick it up, cause we called it. Cool shot. Hello? About time. What's taking you guys so long? <laughs> That's what the phone call was. Okay. We're going to lose the entire safety system. So what? What are we going to lose? The security protocols will go down. Like what? Like the dampeners that prevent people from using magic at the TVA. We would have to turn that off too. Uh-oh. Do it! it <laughs> <laughs> we can find her so much quicker. Victor. I need to tell you, Kelly, Kelly, you need to tell you, Kelly, Kelly, I need to tell you. Oh, God. You'll never be him. Oh, shit. She was like a zombie with her. Kill Brad. Yep. 
Oh yeah. Two trickster gods are coming after you, Brad. Kill him with extreme prejudice. What do you say, X5? Fancy a rematch? I didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Pruned. Which way was that? This way, elevator. Which way was that? It's time for you to return the favor. Let's go. Okay. Rinsler, okay. I mean, yeah, she had my control. Mm -hmm. Man, Rinsler is dead. Wow. Pruned. She's in that place that she escaped from earlier. <laughs> Just on the ground. Right. Mm. Let me hold those. Sure. Put your head in the microwave. Great man. Yeah, it is. Would you do that? No. Nope. Why not? Because I would trust OB. Wouldn't be here in the first place. Not smart enough. You, you, but the whole world nope. would be destroyed if you don't put your head in the microwave. I would have somehow found my way in that box. I got tiny. I'll put the suit on. Okay, let's go then. Come on, magic let's move. Now. He can move super Wait. Speed. Does he? It Maybe, I don't should know. should be me. No, you don't have to do this. Something wrong could happen, and I know how the throughput multiplier works. There. Look at the multiplier, launch it, and get back. Got it? Got it. It's going to multiply him, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's already many of him in different... Um, is there? Universes, yeah. Are there? Yeah. How do you know? That's how multiverse works. No, no, no. It is. No. Be brave. No. <laughs> there's no proof. There is. There's many. This is going to be how we get them. It's not. Uh, it's all part of his sprint. plan. There's a big hose on the back of him. It's just too high. What did we do wrong? I don't know. Oh. Can't loom it anymore. Uh uh. week you went to the editing bay and you did that ending I knew it I don't know how you did it I don't know why you used that power for this but I knew it I'm just in the mood for spaghetti You're right. man you too no I forgive Calvin Calvin my best friend <sighs> yeah like you know like the whole thing with Renslayer dying and Victor dying or whatever and I'm like man that sucks all the men is everyone dead <laughs> What, what is that? It, it, like, all right, guys, MCU is just over. <laughs> like, what happens? Where do we go from I, I don't know. It's a hell of a cliffhanger. I love the editing at the end of that, too. I mean, I hate it, but I loved it. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, like, I just don't know where we go from here. I mean, like, you don't everything just... will be fine. The fucking Marvel's coming up, you know? <laughs> what is that? Hey, hey. They what? released yeah. Captain America uh -huh. and Captain Marvel, yeah. and those were both prequels to everything else we knew. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You're right. So like, it's but we know that and Black Widow. the yeah. Marvels has to be after a, a yeah. certain period. You're right. They, I'm sure they decided to destroy the MCU and then do a prequel movie, and that's going to do real good. Yeah. See? <laughs> did it with Black Widow. <laughs> they did do it with Black Widow. They did it with Captain Marvel. <laughs> that was not their intention. <laughs> no, I know. I think it worked the best with Captain America. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you do. Like, I'm sure it's not a thing where it's like, well, guys, yeah, MCU's gone. But he's spaghettified. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you do. Maybe it's the idea, is the dampener still on? Can magic be used to save? Is that a thing? Um, I mean, is Infinity it? Infinity Stones. It's not uh, time magic, right? Well, I don't know. Like, did the security stuff come back on? Like, we saw them do the thing they, they the, did the a Brad, reset. right? They did mm -hmm. the Brad. Mm -hmm. Was it reset then? And that's why, because his eyes faded, didn't they? Was that the magic fading? Or I was think that, that the was the magic ticking? fading. I think once he did what he was oh, told how... to do, it wore off, right? Yeah. Not, not the dampeners came back. Not that the dampener it. came back. I don't on. think so. I think they just left the dampeners off, maybe. I mean, Miss Menace reset. They reset the whole system yeah. so that she would lose control. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it could have been, I suppose. Yeah, I just was curious on, like, do we still have magic right now? Could that be something that kind of saves everybody here? Or I mean, it didn't. By the look Loki gave at the end, I don't think that he was about ready to be like, I have an idea. <laughs> it yeah. looked pretty hopeless. Sure, but Sylvie's there. Yeah. I don't I know. I mean, she's hopeless as well. She's more I mean, hopeless they've, than they've combined their power before and done some crazy shit. They have. Remember old Loki last season? Damn. He's created Asgard. <laughs> Man, okay. Well, we caught Man, back up so. to uh, what we had before when we went to the future. We came to the point of the future that Loki came to. Yeah, when and, he got pruned. Yeah, and I remember being like, God, I think Loki pruned Loki. And Sylvie, when, whenever they were getting the elevator, and the elevator door was open very slowly, yeah. I'm like, yeah. we're here, this is it. Mm -hmm. What's the point of showing that, though? think like, what's the utility in the story of showing that is that to set up like, something similar happening just so that like hey okay so now that you understand this something like that's gonna happen but more complicated showing what which part it's the Loki pruning himself from the first episode like it for me it doesn't necessarily add too much narratively it just kind of like fulfills something that they set up in the first episode yeah you know what I'm saying like I just wonder like I understand like what happened but the utility of it in the story is that to prepare us for something that's going to happen similarly, or not, you know? I don't know. I mean, you're you're in the middle of like bootstrap paradox kind of things already with a lot of stuff with like yeah. the TVA manual and everything. Mm -hmm. Like I thought it was just a moment, like yeah, just connecting. Like someone pruned Loki. Yeah. They helped him get back to where he could have been yeah. by being pulled out. Of the There's room. a mysterious phone call. I, I don't. Know, maybe there's something about that scene that just kind of rings weird to me, just because I do not understand why Loki didn't hustle at all in either of those scenes. You know, didn't hustle on either. Yeah, like both of those scenes, like you know, Tom Hiddleston plays it very like dramatically and slowly and stuff. Where like both scenes require, in my opinion, urgency. You know, and I didn't really understand why it's all like let's slow it way down. So there's something about it that just was weird for me. Tension. No, I, I understand, but it could just be tension. Sure. Yeah. I mean, the first Loki. I don't know. If there's anything he could do in that moment. Like, sure, there's urgency, but, like, what was he supposed to do? Like, he's Well, he's to supposed to be looking for a, a prune stick, right? And then he hears, and then there's well, a phone call. I guess at that point, yeah, because he's... He knew that he wasn't future. in his right timeline. Sure. He did. Like, he was told, find a prune stick, prune yourself, then we're good. And then, like, a phone starts ringing, and he goes... You know, I never really understood why, in a way. And I thought, well, maybe when they reveal what happened, I'll understand more. But I don't feel like I under understand much more. I feel like I just kind of know what I, we figured, you know? Sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why you're unsatisfied. Because we guessed it. I don't know. Maybe. Say Aaron? Well, no. You hear me? No, you didn't say Aaron. He said, that, that, I think that's why Aaron's satisfied. No, yeah. I said, maybe that's why you're unsatisfied. You're right. Oh. Because so. he's like... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't feel like I got anything more. More than what we already knew. Hmm. But, we, but we didn't know. Now we know. Well, we 98% you know? figured. Like, I don't know. I feel like it was most people's first guess. But either way, it's not that big of a deal. I, was I mean, just, thematically, it makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, right? but like, I, I suppose like, well, for a general audience, you, you fulfill that too. But also, like, do you do that? You have that bootstrap that like, isn't necessarily essential in the story. Like, but what does it do? Like, how is it utilized to set up something, you, you know, in the future? Not necessarily like it is that event is used in the future, but that idea can be used in the future to try to like introduce the 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 idea of a bootstrap. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know why it's there. Anyway, I'm trying to explore it without me saying just like I think that was useless. <laughs> Hmm. But I'll remain open and see what they do in the season later. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't. 
I don't know if I feel like it was useless. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was the the answer to the question that we had. Yeah. It was just like, why do we have the question? Is that kind of what you're meaning? Or? Maybe, yeah. No, I mean, it is it is what it is. Maybe it's meant to parallel and make us think like, oh, where did Renslayer actually go? If yeah. we assume that she went to the, to the one place that Loki mm -hmm. was sent with the other Lokis. Yeah. And the, the one nasty big sky monster that eats everything. Yeah. Alioth or whatever it is. Elias, yeah. Yeah. Like I, maybe this time when she was pruned, she got sent like to the timeline that she was actually supposed to be occupying. Like Loki got pruned and he got sent back to when he was supposed to be occupying. Well, yeah, but he's a special circumstance, right? Don't most people when they're pruned just die? No, they get sent to the to the one place so that they're like destroyed and shit. Is that All how you get to his place? The end of the time? I thought so. Where right? They, how do all those Lokis get there? Well, their timelines were pruned by the 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 prune bomb thing. The minute would come, they would plant that device and then they would leave and then it would like the whole And it sent it all to there and then that monster would just eat everything? Yeah. Right, because there was like Thor's helicopter, mm -hmm. or not Thor's helicopter, uh, Thanos' helicopter. Mm -hmm. There was uh, Frog Thor. Frog Thor, yeah. <laughs> Does Sylvie have a Thor in Odin? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I was curious, like when he brought up the story about Thor, if she was going to have something too. But she kind of just like accepted the story. Yeah. Just, I mean, if she just has one, then she'd understand it, I yeah, suppose, sure. right? Maybe. It is, uh, or it's not unique. that I expected it to come up. I just was no. curious. We don't really know her world as much. Yeah. It's um, just the McDonald's. It's, she's, I don't know. Like, so far, I mean, the McDonald's stuff was funny, but so far, like, she's fallen into the character trope of, like, she's, and it makes a lot of sense why she feels this way. Like, she's upset and wants to do something, but, like, all she does is shoot down ideas and has no alternative. You know? Sure. I mean, her alternative was destroying the TVA, right? I don't know what you achieve in the long run of doing so. Yeah. Unless it's just the idea of, like, well, these people are ruining everything. Look yeah. at these people who are all, mess like, messing mm -hmm. everything. We destroyed it all. We don't have it. Like, yeah. yeah, but then you don't have anyone to protect anything. And then she has a point, too, of, like, like it sounds like we're playing God. Like, you get rid of the TVA, just let things run their course, and don't have anyone pruning or doing policing mm -hmm. of the timelines, and just let the timelines go. Well, sure. Then they would collapse anyway, though, right? Mm, would they? <clears throat> well, the, the the time loom thing if, you couldn't keep up. Yeah, but do we need the loom? You know, like can you just let the timelines just go? You know, we had the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the default is for the multiverse. Well, I also don't know, like, the the timelines versus universes, mm -hmm. right? Like the Watcher. Sure. Is just going between universes, but not timelines. Yeah. Or are they the same? Like, is this timeline, this if, is just... If they're parallel, here's this universe, they're timelines. Here's this universe where, you know, what was it, Killmonger was in charge of, like, Wakanda or whatever. Mm -hmm, sure. Which, is, which happens because of this difference that happened back in this yeah. point in time, right? So, it's, so these two are close, yeah. but they're different multiverses now. Yeah. Would you have the same thing with, like, the Reed Richards, Professor X in... You know, with Wanda and Doctor Strange, I would say so. Is that a, is that also yeah. another alternate universe? But they if you each go have back their far own... enough, you can find a pinpoint of like here's where things started to scatter. So multiverses are just alternate timelines, essentially. I mean, they seem to each have their own space time continuum. I don't know if, I mean, they, things do branch. So I think maybe you could have two categories of multiverse. Because it's the idea then, too, of, like, we talk about, like, Kang and stuff. Mm -hmm. Is Kang just multiple timelines, or is he multiversal? Well... And what's the difference all, in that case? All universes have their own timeline, so he's both. Yeah. Right? But which was he first? Is that what you're thinking? Well, I, well, I, I don't know. I'm saying, like, it, it, wouldn't multiple timelines equal multiple universes within that? I mean, it, it can. But, again, like, I don't know what the null is. I don't know what the default, like, how, like, you know... Like, whether, whether created or through natural process, like, is the multiverse, like, a natural thing, or is it a... Uh, manufactured. Uh, well, is it a consequence of things happening? Well, like, taking Sylvie, for example. Mm -hmm. You said, does Sylvie have a Thor? 
Yeah, I don't know. Or a version of Thor. Well, is that is she, or not, is she multiversal or is she timeline? Because if she's timeline, then she then yes, she's right? multiversal. So she's multiversal. Yeah, she's a variant of Loki. But then why is she worried about her timeline branch? What do you mean? She's worried about like the branches and like having a timeline branch and everything. She's just from another multiverse here, mm-hmm. not worried about her multiverse. Why did she go back to her multiverse? I, I don't know if well, I don't know. I don't know. If she she'd... was she was a variant that they had been hunting for a while. She had yeah. escaped her they timeline. Her they pruned her already. timeline long ago. That's why she picked another one and went to McDonald's. Yeah. So right? she's from a timeline, she's... not a multiverse. Then well, I don't understand the distinction. Like, That's what I'm asking. Yeah, I'm asking for the distinction. She's from a different multiverse. So she's not from a timeline. So there's no timeline to be pruned. When well, you say timeline, like I don't know if they're a, necessarily different. Timelines is I think it's synonymous that, with that's, a, with two parallel multiverses. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I I think. So like when you talk about another multiverse, because you said that she's multi she's multiversal. Mm-hmm. That's just she's from another timeline. Uh, I, I maybe I need to def- we need to uh, get down our terms of timeline and multiverse. That, it feels like you're using them interchangeably. That's I, I what think I'm they asking. are interchangeable. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, are they the same or are they different? Well, I mean, I, I don't there's a million know. different ways that we can do time travel and fiction. One of them being like, there's one regular timeline and then we branch with decisions. And then there's another one where it's you have separate multiverses that have no interaction with each other. I feel like Sylvie and Loki are separate timelines that have no interac- interaction with each other. Whereas the Loki that we have here and the Loki that died in Endgame are timeline uh, differences. So they're two separate things. So Sylvie's not a timeline. No, she's a multiverse variant. So the, does the TVA travel to different multiverses and take care of their timelines too? It would seem so, yes. Ultimately because they were lied to, like they were told that this is that there's only one thing. There's the sacred timeline and we have to prune it. But there actually is a bunch of different timelines. Hmm. And that's the and so, all those time. I'm sorry, all those different multiverses. I'm sorry, I, I use timeline where I meant multiverse. And uh, the g- giant multiversal war that Kang fought with himself, like, are all from all the different ones. He created the TVA to only have one, and then he would prune it whenever timeline branches would 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 happen. Okay, so a multiverse is all of the timelines. A timeline is one single train track. Sure. Right? So yeah. when it branches, it makes a new timeline, but they're still in the same multiverse. Maybe that's the distinction. But they don't go to other universes. They're yeah. just one timeline that they're working with. Well, th- like, like, does the TVA also take care I mean, of the whenever, whenever that Richards, Professor X, Wanda? I mean, honestly, I don't know. And also, the MCU's been incredibly inconsistent with the way it works anyway. So Have they? Yeah. So there's a part of me that just kind of wants to be like... There's several it's different a story. I don't. I, need, I don't even know. Details. There's several different <laughs> systems yeah. of organization and ways of traversing those gaps. I think is the best way to put it. And each one works very differently and has different logic to the others because it's. I, I would sci-fi magic. Yeah. Everything's mixed together. Like I assume. I don't know, but I, that's just what I'm like. Yeah, it's like speedsters and Legend of Tomorrow. They just have different. Sure. Things to do with. So that's why. Well, I feel like I need to know this to understand Kang, because I don't think that. I think there's multiverses, and then those universes have a timeline, which is separate from anything to do with multiverse. Is how I feel like it. So, so like the Kang we have yeah. is going to have multiple versions from a timeline perspective, not a multiversal perspective. Uh. Hmm. I was with you all the way into the last sentence. Yep, that's fine. I mean, Kang is just Rick from Rick and Morty, with the Council of Ricks. There's Kangs from all different types of multiverses. So our multiverse has one Kang. Yes, I would believe so. Until he our, our splits, multiverse. I mean, or our timeline. That's all I know. No, our multiverse has one Kang, until he changes something to do with the timeline and has multiple that's each, what, each universe has a king. The thing I don't get is why... That's why when we have multiple kings, they're from each universe. Sure, the thing I don't get is why there is one Kang until we t- kill the Kang of our timeline, in which case it releases a multiversal of Kangs. Well, there's one Kang that is the only Kang left after the war, right? There were a bunch of Kangs, and now there's only one Kang left who is he who remains. 
and then he was he created the TVA so that that would always be the case. Because he, he's pruning all the timelines, yeah. right? Because he's keeping all the but other I, timelines from existing. But I and feel like that's in kings. the universe, not in the multiverse. That's in the sacred timeline. Because if you go among the multiverse, you start getting things where it's like, well, this Kang is black and white, and this Kang looks like techno colors, and this Kang's their whole world's under water. water. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't feel like we have those vast differences too much sometimes. Except for the Lokis, where we had a crocodile Loki. Yeah, I mean, so, those like, I'm kings trying to, would exist. I'm trying to place where these work and how you have, like, like how you have one person in a multiverse where, like, there's only that one, but because the sacred timeline's all messed up, now all the multiverses that I feel like have their own timelines mm -hmm. can just have as many kings as they want. I mean, it's... You know what I mean? It's one of the things when, like, in trying to define all this stuff and put it into boxes, it breaks down, because... It's bullshit. <laughs> also, in in the infinite array of how things can happen, you have almost an infinite amount of answers. I think for sure. so the answer is relative to your local <laughs> understanding. I guess. <laughs> I think for the definition of a multiverse, there is only one multiverse, and inside of that multiverse, there are many universes that are duplicates with slightly different changes right it's the multiverse not the multiverses sure it could be multiverses no though. we don't know see the thing that works the best <laughs> but in that my doesn't mind. that doesn't thematically make sense no, no it, it could i mean it's it's the nature of a fractal right a fractal can have an infinite amount of data points inside these yeah, two but, data points in which case they are inside of an, an, an infinite amount of data points what do you call plural of multiverse so same thing I say infinity plus one like you know like it doesn't really make it breaks down at a certain point because it doesn't make sense to me. Let's just keep it simple then. Yeah, multiverse. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's there's no satisfactory answer. It's just like I, trying to find the beginning and end of a bootstrap. You can't. You just have to pull yourself up from. It. You have to American way. I uh, I hate Brad. I also don't understand his thought process. On which part? I don't understand how he got from where he was to being like, you know what? I will do this with Renslayer. I mean, he's just. I don't know why he accepted that. Did he accept it? Or did he just. I mean, he watched all those people die and then he went over and killed that other dude and. I mean, he seems to be on board. I just. I think it's just. Once a, I start I, killing people, I think I'm on board. He killed a person. That's one too many. <laughs> so. If I don't it's remember correctly, a, he didn't kill them. Cost. He sent them somewhere else. Yeah, he pruned them. But he didn't kill Docs and all them. No, he didn't. You know? He just didn't. I, he just let it happen. Yeah. I think it was like in the middle of like he's already kind of on this side of what we need to do and fighting back. Yeah. And Docs was like, no. Yeah. And he just, I mean, I don't know what he was supposed to do because if he fought mm -hmm. back, he would just die too. Mm -hmm. So there's that idea where it's like, well, I just will stand here and not say anything and they will all die. Did... Um, but he did take out the one dude. Like those people, definitely died. They didn't get pruned. He they were crushed. No, yeah, they by were a box. They were you know killed. That's terrible. The sound it made. Yeah, it could have run over and destroyed the controller, or, or on the thing because that's what Miss Minutes was using to control the box. I don't know. Miss Minutes jumped in, popped out, and then it did its thing. I felt like she, like, took over the AI of it and just controlled it on her own, so... Sure, but if she... she could have boxed him before he got there. I have no idea. Maybe. You know? I was just thinking if he, but like, it's, destroyed the controller that she was controlling, then yeah. the machine couldn't yeah. be controlled. I feel like he wants know. his timeline thing and everything. Yeah, he, he just wants he to be an just, actor. He just... Yeah. Fuck him. What? Fuck him. <laughs> what are you saying? And, like, he's in a predicament there where it's, like, he wants to fight back against uh shoot what is it b15 mm -hmm. right he's mm -hmm. x5 mm -hmm. yeah right um fight back against b15 and all that kind of stuff too but then when they come in i don't he could have went and stood with them and just died i don't know what other alternative he would have had well he could have at least attempted to try to stop what was happening i mean I, he most likely 99.99 percent would have failed but he didn't do anything he just yeah. stood there and i feel like that's within his character Oh, Tor, you know, yeah. which I've now written off his character. <laughs> written off his character. Okay. Yeah, it seemed like he was trying to be better and at least, you know, live a life for his own, but 
Like uh, once I've, you see all those other people that also had their lives taken, and then Renslayer is going to kill them, and he does nothing, it's effectively like he's doing it for himself. It makes him a hypocrite. I feel like that's what he's been doing the whole time. He's never yeah. done anything that's not for himself. Okay. Like I think his timeline yeah. with the acting and stuff was mm -hmm. all for himself. Sure. I think the information he gave up was always for himself. Mm -hmm. I think he took him to the timeline for Sylvie and then got them out of there to save himself. Like yeah. all those aspects, it wasn't for Ducks. It wasn't for the TVA. It wasn't for Rinslayer. It was always for himself. And I feel like that's what he looks yeah, out he, for. Yeah, he only follows so, the side that he is on until it can benefit him the most to leave it. With all that said, I, mean, I don't like him either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying he's a good guy. No, I'm just saying, like, I think it's true within his character, though. He's it just, well, I wish, totally spineless. I wish he yeah. would, I, oh, maybe he'll grow more with something else. He's still alive, potentially, somewhere. I don't know what the loom did, but. Yeah. Blew up. And then, was it, he didn't kill Renslayer, it was Sylvie? That Troon? Is that what happened? No, oh, he stabbed Renslayer. His he was, body he did. Well, yeah, he... Yes. His hand no, yeah. killed Renslayer. Yes. Yes. He was like, hey, it hey, come over here. And then he like, look. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but he said, I didn't think I'd see you again so soon. I yeah. don't think that was Brad. No, she was in or I think was that in was control Sylvie. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he did that. Mm -hmm. Like, the only person that I think he did was... Whoever was drinking the cocoa, whatever his name was. Yeah. So, I don't know. So if, if he has, if he came back and helped or anything, you, it'd still be kind of like, well, screw this guy. I mean, I, I kind I like the actor. I think it's a lot of charisma. I kind of yeah. thought like, oh, maybe they're gonna do some type of like, uh, you know, uh, arc with him or something, mm -hmm. and he just kind of spun his wheels, let, and then that happened. I, I maybe I was disappointed in that there wasn't more. Well, so I've written off the possibility <laughs> for myself. I, I say he might still have an arc. Maybe we just haven't hit all the notes yet that we need to. Yeah. Like this we moment didn't... could be a thing where he's seeing what has happened and maybe he wants yeah. to mm -hmm. change what he does. But I don't know. I mean, there was a point where we didn't like things that Sylvie did, but now she's kind of on our side. I mean, I'm kind of the other way. I kind of feel like when, I, when we first met Sylvie, I was more important than what she is now. <laughs> you don't like Sylvie now? No, no, no. I'm not saying I don't like well, her. I don't just, under, I don't, uh, like some of the, like her utilization in the scenes, like, isn't the same as her utilizations in the scenes from the first season. And with what's happening here, I kind of like want her scenes to end <laughs> in a way. Like, it, there's, it's not adding anything to me. For I me. think she's a really good mirror to Loki. Yeah, she can like, be. Like, I think oh, she's 100% yeah. on the same kind of page of what Loki used yeah. to be, and I love this scene in the pie yeah. room. A more mature when, like, Loki when, talking when, to her. Yeah, I'm not saying, like, it's bad or about. anything. I just, I, I enjoyed her scenes more in the first season so far than we've gotten here, is all I'm saying. Um, but I love the, I love them talking about, like, you know, Loki going through, he talked about sure Thor and like how he mm -hmm. used to be yeah. and just like, like sure he says like we are gods, but I feel like his view on everything, especially since this is like Avengers Loki, who was mm -hmm. always looking out for himself, very similar to Brad in that yeah. same way, like Brad is kind of like a mirror to him that he has to like, he had to like interrogate and do that with I think Sylvie very much is, like there's not there's not a lot from Sylvie in season one into season two that I feel like really makes her super different from what Loki would have been like in Avengers. Like, she had her mission. She's willing to kill. But she didn't kill Victor. Mm -hmm. Mainly because she said he was scared. So, like, there's a small difference there, I suppose. But she's also willing to go pretty far with a lot yeah. of her thoughts I mean, she, things, too. Yeah, I mean, she killed he who remains to yeah, begin with. Yeah, exactly. So, I think having her there to kind of be like the old Loki and being able to see this Loki with... Mobius like running around and trying to help people and yep. having a different view yeah. viewpoint. Yeah, fully agree. Uh, really works well with uh, at least Loki's arc. And sure, you can say like, well, Sylvie hasn't had much growth, but I think that it's helping to shed light on the Loki growth. Yeah, because I, I think the way Loki said we are gods here is a very different way than he said it to Thor. You know, back when he was bad. We are gods. Sure. You know, they should. Fear us and worship us and everything. Yeah. Now it's like we. His is like we need to we be are, a way to We need to be responsible thing, right? and and take care of people. Yeah. Which is interesting. No more uh, displaced responsibility there. Do you think this season we'll figure out like Mobius's 
background a little bit more, like where his timeline's from. Like, they've they've, they've really talked about it probably, a lot. Yeah. They really like, focused here on You being, haven't even like, checked. Yeah, yeah. You haven't looked to see if your timeline exists or what it was like or anything. No wonder you don't care. I mean, I think that he definitely cares more than most of the people at the TVA. If yeah. anything, I feel like he's being the least... I mean, selfish isn't the right word, but... Uh, focused on himself. Most objective. Yeah. He's not like emotionally driven on what he's after, yeah, right. right? He's just like, we yeah. have to do right. I mean, his motivation for that is that I think he's afraid of what he'll find out. Yes. Oh, yeah. But I mean, that's what still he said. in service of the quadrillions of beings that are going to die if he does nothing. Yeah. I mean, that's what he was talking about last episode, right? Mm-hmm. It was like, what if it's great? Yeah. What if I want to do that mm-hmm. more than do this? I can picture quadrillions because I'm trying to like think about it and how many people there are and then I'm thinking about like oh man you're like a million is this and a billion is this and mm-hmm. like, that's a lot how much is a quadrillion you know? I, mean, I, I honestly yeah. can't even think of what a million is so those are numbers are at a certain point they don't mean anything to me they're just, too big I just try to relate it to the, the one I remember about like a million seconds is like two three weeks mm-hmm. and, and a billion a seconds a billion seconds is like 30 years or something mm-hmm. like that and I'm like if I think about it like that like that's a vast difference sure, yeah. you know I'm like so what's a quadrillion seconds yeah <laughs> like it's a person like well, over, over a person's lifetime you know like it's like it's gotta be huge yeah anyway no it's well and that's probably a forgetting a trillions third. as well yeah, I skipped over that yeah. and that's probably an actual small number compared to the actual amount of sentient beings there are in any given universe <coughs> Probably. If each universe is infinite, right? I mean, like, whenever I think of planet Earth, I think, oh, yes, yeah, seven billion lives. But that's not true. It's, think of every insect. Think of every, every oh, doll. Yeah. You know, like, it's the, the actual number. It's. I don't even know if we have numbers for it. It's so terrifying to think that we're just, outnumbered just by one species of ant. Yeah. Like and not just numbers. Fifty to one. Biomass. Bio, well, no, biomass. No. <laughs> it's a lot less than it used to be. Well, sure. Yeah. But they still outnumber us by a lot. A trillion seconds ago would have been thirty thousand BC. Mm. Mm-hmm. A quadrillion seconds ago would have been thirty-two million years ago. Mm. Yeah. Just how much vast those are. Yeah. From one to the next. A quintillion, quintillion seconds is thirty-two billion years ago. The age of the universe is 13.8 billion years. That's what this says. So far. Yeah. We're at, yeah. I mean, at we're, at, we're at the end of the timeline right now, but there will be more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought minutes is, like, shut down. Like, yeah. she was, like, dying in a way, kind of. And then she had, like, this weird kind of... I miss z- minutes. Well, she had, like, a zombie yeah. look at her when she said, uh, you'll never be him. Yeah. <laughs> like, her eye was, like, missing and stuff. Like, I was like, yeah, that's... Yep. Why? It's like zombie Miss Minutes. <laughs> oh, bless you. She's creepy. The time is... Do you think with the reset, that like just brings her back to a default and she'll be happy-go-lucky? Or mm. do you think that she's in- inherently that way in her initial programming? I guess it depends on how the reset works. Yeah. Like, has she ever been reset before? Like R2, right? Yeah. Like R2, yeah. He has his personality because he's never had his memory, memory erased. Yeah. Does this erase memory sure. or anything? Or is it just... Is it reset I mean, everything back? <clears throat> Maybe this is what needs to happen, right? Because if she's the same Miss Minutes as would be uh, he who remains Miss Minutes, yeah, then she couldn't have foreknowledge of everything that's going to happen. Sure. So here, if Victor somehow ends up alive, <clears throat> and if he can become he who remains, yeah. like he becomes the he who remains that we killed, you take this Miss Minutes who now maybe doesn't have any memory, yeah. pair it with him, they work together and build their way back through it again. Sure. And then she has no memory of any of the stuff. I don't know. I know. What we know is infinitely de- infinitesimal versus what we, what we know don't know. is a drop. God is dead and time is a circle. What we don't <laughs> is an ocean. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> On an ocean planet. <sighs> I loved Ouroboros like oh you did this and this and ruined my life yeah <laughs> <laughs> what was the one thing he had too where it's like and then someone <laughs> killed him <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was good I loved uh, I mean I really hope Victor's not gone I really love Victor's I don't know presence and the way he speaks and stuff but mm-hmm. 
Uh, I don't know. Is I'm assuming spaghettification is the end of him, but you never know. Um, well, I don't know. It looked like the spaghetti dying. strands like went places. He didn't just like. Yeah. It wasn't like the spaghettification that Thanos did to uh, Mantis. Reed Richards. That oh yeah, that had that. To do. Yeah, Scarlet yeah. Witch. That's right. Yeah. There was like <laughs> Thanos did something to. Oh yeah. Mantis and, Mantis and Drax. And Drax. Like, they like split them into pieces of like, and, like well spaghetti, and then like oh, that was actual spaghetti. Yeah. But you're right, Reed Richards definitely got spaghettified. Yeah, that was pretty mm-hmm. spaghetti. Yep, like Plato. All right, well, uh, next episode about to be nuts because I literally have no idea what happens next. We really could do anything. I guess, All right? of time and space blew up. It feels like. Or maybe now there are multiverses. Now which there multiverses. wasn't before. Oh, yeah. The yeah. loom exploded into instead of timelines, multiverse. This is the biggest bag. Well <clears throat> until we have another bigger bag. That's what she said. He, he, guys, the poll for this week. Uh, will we be seeing more of Victor? This Victor that was beginning. Or will we be seeing uh, maybe other Kang variants instead? I'm sure that we'll have Kang in some way or fashion, but this Victor. It seemed like a really good match with OB, and I'd like to keep him around. So I hope he's still around. Check it out on Wave.com.